Hi everybody, welcome back to Cooking with Eddie, La Mia Cucina. It's nice to see you again. Um, gosh, it's a cold, overcast day in May, go figure. And I was thinking about something to do tonight uh, for dinner, and I was looking around and seeing what's in the refrigerator and you know, get inspired by what's what you got available. Um, uh, tonight's inspiration came from my garden, because there's something growing there that's really special. I'd cut it back a couple of weeks ago, and with the rain and the sun and the time of year and all the light and getting 14 hours a day, this thing has grown tremendously. It's about ready to bloom, but I'll show you what it is, and it's going to be the source of tonight's meal. It'll be good. So this is a sage plant that I planted, oh gosh, many years ago, and uh, I, I, I cut it way back. You can see, you can see where I cut it just a couple weeks ago, and it started growing like crazy. I mean, look at the size of these leaves. Look at the size of this thing. I mean, it's enormous. So, oh my God, it's just so strong and fragrant. It's about ready to bloom. It's gonna put out some beautiful yellow flowers. Uh, so I said, boy, I've got this great sage. You know, you can make sage chips out of these, which is really fantastic. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut some of this, and we're gonna make some chicken saltimbocca and uh, sage and prosciutto and chicken and salt in bocca is an Italian word for jumps to the mouth. It just jumps in the mouth because it's so good. So tonight, chicken salt in bocca with some fresh saggio sage from my garden. And uh, let's get to it. Isn't this just great? I'll show you what else is happening in the garden too because I, I, a couple of weeks ago I planted some arugula. Things are starting to come up. Uh, I put in some vegetables too, but it's a little bit too chilly to just sort of sit in there. But tonight, Salt in Boca with some fresh sage. Fun. So the garden's coming along, right? There's the uh, arugula that I planted a couple weeks ago coming up. Uh, I did it in a couple days to spread it out so you can see where it's growing and some new ones are coming in. Next to it, I've got some tarragon in there and a little bit of tomatoes back there, but that's going to take some time. But it's coming. It's looking great. You might have remembered um, a couple weeks ago I shot in the garden and you can see the azaleas are, are done now, but... Uh, it's, uh, we're just waiting for the sun, but it's, it's going great, and I'm looking forward to the rest of the summer with the vegetables. But tonight, sage. Woo! Oh, God. So, here are the ingredients, really simple. Flour, uh, some bone chicken broth, some butter, some wine. That'll be for the browning, uh, dredging first, and then browning. I'm going to uh, butterfly and flatten out these, uh, chicken breasts, and the main deal is prosciutto di parma and sage. And I will, once I flatten these out, I'm gonna put a sage uh, leaf or two on the chicken. I'll, I'll uh, season it with salt and pepper, put on the sage, put on some prosciutto, and then we're just gonna saute it in some butter and oil, and flip it over. And with the remains, we're gonna take some butter and some uh, wine and make a reduction sauce, and that is it. That's tonight's dinner. I'll probably serve it with a side of some uh, spinach, uh, cooked spinach with maybe some brown um, uh, pine nuts. And that's it, a little salad and a glass of wine. Done. Really easy, but this you can't get at a store. <laughs> so I'm starting by butterflying the uh, chicken breasts just very easily, slicing, uh, you know, best you can here to get in half. Sharp blade is important. There we go. And then I'm going to uh, stick it in the plastic bag and flatten it out a little bit. So I've uh, seasoned them with salt and pepper. I'm taking these great leaves. <laughs> okay, so I'm taking a piece of the prosciutto and pressing it, putting it on top of the chicken. And I'm going to 
take off, trim off the excess. Not, there's not too much here. And just press it in to help it stick. This is so paper thin, you have to really be delicate with this, as you know. Okay. Covers that up. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna just dust it in some flour and saute it. You know, in Italy they they have machines here, but in Italy they, they shave this stuff by hand and it's razor thin like this. I don't know how they do it. All right, I'm gonna stick this in. Take off the excess. Stick that in. Projector side up. Let that cook. few minutes, about three minutes. Cooks through. And then we'll turn it over. I think I have well, I might get room for that fourth one. Squeeze it in there. There we go. Okay. We'll come back when it's time to flip it over. So this is going to saute for about three minutes so it's cooked through, almost cooked through, and then turn it over and just real quickly on the prosciutto side until the prosciutto uh, begins to shrink and then uh, we'll take it off, clean out the pan, deglaze it with some wine, some butter, and some of the uh, chicken stock to reduce it for a little sauce. And that's it. Be back in a second. Here we go. Turn it over. I'm going to cook it very quickly. You can smell the sage now. Oh, great! What's that? About a minute? I mean, that's it. Oh yeah. That's what it looks like right now. We'll be back with the sauce. Okay, so I put a couple of uh, dollops of butter in there and I add about a quarter of a cup of wine. And I'm gonna put that on uh, high heat until it reduces by about a third. And then I'm gonna add some chicken, cup of chicken stock and let that simmer a little bit. And then I'm going to put the, uh, the chicken back in the sauce, and that's going to be it. So this is going to, that's really nice. It's sort of cooking down a little bit, and we'll be back. So I've uh, reduced that butter and wine about two minutes, about half. And I put in a cup of the stock and let that come to a boil. Now, while that's boiling, I've, uh, I've had some of the pine nuts uh, browning in some butter here. And I put in some spinach. I'm going to let that uh, cook down. And then I'm going to serve on the side of the chicken. That's going to be that. So I'll put the top on that. Let that reduce. And uh, in a few minutes, I'm going to put the chicken back in and warm it up. And we're going to be ready to eat. Ooh, wait. One thing I forgot. The wine. There's always a good thing to do when you cook. <laughs> Put that over medium heat, let that finish cooking, and we're done. And salud. And here it is. Some saltine boca with some spinach and some fresh sage. We're ready to eat. Buon appetito. Thank you for coming. We'll see you next time. We'll figure something else out. I really appreciate you being here. Buon appetito, stay safe, be well. Ciao tutti, ciao. La mia cucina, cooking with Eddie, one more time.